Hey everyone, here's my green mandarin dragonette. He's been acclimated with the drip method after being acclimated to float to get his water to the right temperature. As you can see, he's pretty awesome. He's really not very shy. He's just kind of seeing what the clownfish are doing. He was making friends with one of my smaller clownfish a minute ago. But, as you can see, he's already been picking at the rocks and whatnot. I haven't turned any lights off yet. So, I'm curious to see where he's going to go. I'll see, he's actually going further than he was before. He wasn't going very far from this section of the tank before. You must know that I'm taking pictures of him. There we go. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that face on that thing. That is just cool. <laughs> I picked him up at the local fish store. They had him originally for 40 or $45. And I just kind of told the guy, I'm like, look, I buy so much stuff from you, the least you could do is work me out some sort of deal so I can at least get a cool looking fish that can help me out with the copepods and whatnot, because we all know I got plenty of them in there, so he gave them to me for $20, he's about maybe two inches. That thing up on top of his fin floating around, that's just some sand that he'd been stirring up and kind of created a mess with it. But, love the colors on this guy. He's something else. He's definitely not shy, I gotta give him that. He looks pretty amazing. So that's cool. And that rock that he's by, this thing is full of copepods and arthropods. So he's going to be having a heyday once the lights go out. If you notice, another thing, the cyano has virtually vanished. I mean, from what it was to now, it's just like unbelievable it finally decided to get the heck out of here I dropped some zooplankton in here I noticed that my little anemone buddy here didn't open up today very much so I dropped some zooplankton in here and it obviously made him happy because he popped right out so that's cool. Look at this thing. Is he wild looking or what? What a face. He's only a mother could love. It's pretty amazing how they act. They're almost like what salamanders do on land, but they're in salt water. And as you can see, here's another quick picture of my coralline. Coraline, look at that, since the last time I did the Coraline check on this. Don't mind all the glass. I've got green algaes, brown algaes, all sorts of weird algaes coming out on my glass lately. But, yeah, this Coraline, it took off. It is just caking this rock, which is good. I'm glad to see that. It's definitely going to dominate all that green. So, I got these guys some seaweed tonight. Figured why not? Let me try it. They haven't really touched it yet. I don't think they realize what it is at the moment. Because they haven't had any since day one. As far as me owning them. But I'm just showing you a quick view of the bottom. As you can see, see that's not cyan or any of that kind of color. That's just like different color type sea. sea 
seashells that was part of the uh, mix from nature's ocean so you can see this is completely changed as far as cyano it really came out of it thank god it was driving me crazy see there's not one speck of this stuff left and if there is I don't see it so and this is what the strange thing is going on lately check out this algae I don't know if I can get a zoom in on it or not but this is some crazy looking stuff yeah I don't think I'm going to be able to get a zoom on it but you can see it's got like a really bizarre weave to it this is the green stuff. I've never had any green. There we go. Got it somewhat in there anyway. Check that out. Look at the design of this stuff. So I don't know what the heck is going on with this, but yeah, this is all green. Never had green before. So that's what this is, and it's just a very fine film of it. I'll show you from the front. See? Look at the color of that. Just a real fine it's actually a pretty green as far as that goes <coughs> but you can see the brown is virtually gone now I mean that was some pretty nasty stuff it was kicking on this front glass but I didn't touch it I haven't cleaned any of this glass off so I'm leaving everything up to the snails and whatnot that big chunk of algae back there you can see it slowly dissipated a little bit so it's actually got really long hairy algae on it. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, them strands are probably about three inches long. Like a real fine hair type algae, but the snail's over there. You can see him right there. He's digging away. So, but, anyways, this is the main guy now. I mean, he just looks really cool. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video because it's actually pretty long. Get another nice shot of his face close up if I can get one. And it's pretty close, huh? That's about four times right there. Let's see if I can get him to come around one more time. There we go. Yeah, that's just something else. Love the colors. Yeah, I'm not going to get him really zoomed, I guess. The camera doesn't want to react too fast with him. But anyways, there you have it. There's the clown trying to make buddies. So I guess he wants to welcome me into the tank now. Which is cool. Get them to you see each other. But, all right, there you have it. Let me shut this thing off and call it a night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And with that, we're out of here. Have a good night.